today's video we are back at the range and today we are back out here with the beretta apx a1 tactical and this is going to be the first time we have shot it suppressed i got devin with me from specter solutions and devin's going to tell you about the suppressor so this is a rugged obsidian 45 acp can um, it can do anything from 45 caliber all the way down to a nine mil and yeah, it's got a half by 28 booster on it that easily threads onto the Beretta. We're gonna see if the spring poundage and the Beretta likes being suppressed. I'm very interested to see if this will work. Yeah, we've shot this so far on what? We've shot it on the Walther PDP Pro. Yep. We ran it on the Taurus G3 Tactical. Yep. Um, we did have some issues with those where we did have to switch the springs out. Now, the nice thing was with the Taurus and the Walther, they came with springs for suppressor use. The Beretta has nothing with it. It's got one spring, so all we can do is try it. Let's, Let's have some fun. See if it likes it. All right. Cool. All right, we got a few different types of ammo we're going to test out here today. Uh, we've got Steel Valley casting reloads. These are the ones that I run on the channel all the time. So these are a 125 grain truncated cone reload. We also brought out some Black Dot, some Remington, and maybe some Federal. So we're going to try a bunch of different kinds here. We're going to shoot a 10-shot group at that top right target. It runs. It runs good. That's insane. Nice. Look at that smoke. Love that smoke. Uh, shooting a little high left. It's typical. Can's got it thrown off just a little bit, yeah. but uh, pretty good group, especially out of the Beretta. Yeah, I'm surprised it ran. All right, I'm going to run 10 rounds of the 125 grain Steel Valley. Top left with the rugged Obsidian 45 on the new Beretta APX with Mediator. It ran for Chris. Let's see if it keeps running. Through one. Wow. Nice group. Nice. Look at that smoke. This thing likes suppressed. It surprises me a lot. I'm curious what poundage spring this is. These rounds are nice. Um, Usually with a suppressor, it might throw off, but I think it's fine. You just shot a little low. Yeah. But my, I'm shooting high left, so. Yeah, oh, it's not well. bad. Great group. All right, this time I've got 12 Federal American Eagle 115 grains loaded up. That was all I had left in the box. I figured let's burn them up and run them through the suppressor. So we're gonna shoot a group at the bottom right. Remington 115 range ammo, bottom left. See if it likes these. So far, so good. Lock back and everything. This thing loves to be suppressed. I don't know if you can see that, but that smoke is pretty cool. It's still snappy. Like yeah, you're saying you're That's shooting it a lot better suppressed though than you were with without it suppressed. It does take the snappiness down, but this thing's still snappy. It's crazy. All right, now these should be a little bit quieter. These are 147 grain round nose. These are from Black Dot Ammunition. This is what Devin shoots in competition. Let's see how they run suppressed. Oh, yeah, but it did not cycle. Nope. It's not going to run. Not enough behind it. Not enough. So the 147 grain black dots are a no-go. 
All right, this time I've only got two of these. Uh, that was all that was left in the box, but these are the Hornady factory subsonic 147 grain XTPs. Let's see if we can get it to cycle that second round. Hell okay, yeah. no problem there. So it, it's not the gun's fault. Those black dot rounds, I reviewed them on the channel. We actually pulled one of those bullets and did a powder charge on them. And there was, I think there was only like three grains of powder in those. So that's not the gun's fault. I pretty much think it's going to run just about anything, especially if it just ran those Hornady suppressed rounds. All right, my final thoughts running the Bread APX A1 Tactical Suppressed. It's a pretty good suppressor host. Like I said, that Black Dot ammunition, it's it's got a very low powder charge. It this It's not the fault of the gun. No. Uh, ran the Federal American Eagle 115 grains, no problem. Same thing with the Remington Range Ammo. Same thing with my uh, 125 grain reloads from Steel Valley Casting. And it ran the two Hornady subsonic rounds we had left. So I still don't like this gun, but it's a great suppressor host. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with how it ran suppressed. I'll let you uh, give you your final thoughts on it. I'm surprised it ran. The Obsidian 45 is a heavier can compared to the other ones out there. It's not a dedicated nine. It's a multi-caliber. So it's a little bit heavier. As you could say, it's top heavy. So I'm surprised it ran at all. So whatever poundage spring is in this, it's pretty solid. Uh, like you said, the 147s with the least powder is not the problem with the guns, the ammo. Um, does not change the fact I don't like this gun. Mostly the trigger, the ergonomics for me is okay. But yeah, the trigger just kind of kills it for me. And it's really snappy for what it is. Yeah. Even with the suppressor, it was still snappy. Yeah, I thought so too. I it, I, I don't it's know crazy. what it is. I don't know if it's just the, the grip on it or what. Right. I love the way it feels in my hand. Right. Until I start shooting it. it exactly. It's so, just weird. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Beretta, you almost had it. <laughs> I will say too, one thing that I am impressed with Beretta on, we might as well, we got to give them some We got to give them some credit. credit. Yeah. All right. The ambi controls, yes. awesome. Yeah. This gun eats everything. Oh, that's true. I mean, we have not, other than the black dot with the suppressor, reloads, factory ammo, subsonic rounds, what this this gun just runs everything. It it's it no failure to feeds, no failure to ejects. We've no light primer strikes. We've had nothing. I right. mean, it runs really good when it comes to that. And the other really cool thing that I like about it, same spring, you can run it unsuppressed. And run it suppressed because a lot of guns we have to switch the springs out true to run them suppressed that's a good point and you don't have to with the beretta so this gun has its good points right and i'm not saying it's going to be a bad gun for you no but it's a bad gun for me and obviously Devin doesn't like it much either but uh i'm pretty happy without ran suppressed so that's cool all right well i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and we will see you on the next one see you guys